Hey there, it's Cole Slaney here from Breedy Motors and Salmon Arm. Just wanted to show off this Ram 1500 Laramie Sport Edition. Now this particular truck also has something that we like to call e-torque. Now e-torque is an electronically induced um, torque system set up here. It is typically used for when you're taking off from a red light or picking up speed on the highway here. You'll see right here, it highlights e-torque. So you're actually gonna gain upwards of 100 pounds per feet of torque from this electronic e-torque system here. Um, it recharges itself when the vehicle's running from regenerative braking um, and things like that. So it's constantly being charged up. You don't need to actually use um, a plug-in by any means like that. It doesn't classify itself as a hybrid by this means either. It just means you're having a little bit of an additional help off the line from that electronic torque converter set up there. Let's walk around the vehicle, show off if there's any blemishes here. Like first and foremost, that's just a little bit of dirt there. Now this guy hasn't been professionally detailed yet. I was the one who did the original clean on here. So if there's any dirt on there, you can blame me for that. You do have this nice sport hood on here though. Bug deflector across the front. A couple of bugs here still, that's my bad. Upgraded lights. Fog lights as well with the sensors on the front, tow hooks on the front, blacked out grill. Nice looking wheels on here as well. We do have Toyo tires on here, open country ATs to be exact. They do have a snowflake on them right there. That's also a piece of dirt. Behind the mirrors, these are the trailer tow mirrors here. They do pop up. We also have rain guards. It looks like this expel piece, like this piece right here is actually um, wrapped there, but on the inside, it does look a little beat up. Now, the reason I'm showing you all these little things here, I'm sure it's not typical. Um, I don't want there to be any surprises when you see this vehicle for, your first, for the first time in person. I want all these blemishes to be out of the way so there's nothing to worry about. Box is in so good shape here does have led lights in there as well rear sliding window on this particular guy super light tailgate that's a bug i just had to take that off of there piece of dirt now again right through here show you the back seat lots of room back here flat load floor it does come with the nice console option instead of just cup holders popping down. Dual pane panoramic sunroof, heated seats in the rear. You also got a prong plug in right here as well. Underneath here and that side is going to be two cubbies and whatnot. They also got the expel piece done here so there's gonna be no damage on your doors. Let's check out the main show. So this particular guy has 35,000 kilometers on here, just a smidge over, I should say. And you got all your controls for your wheel here. So if I hit the arrow, we're going through everything. And back to speedometer. You have a gear option, a gear limiter, cruise control options, the big 12 inch touch screen. You do have four wheel drive auto two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive high, four-wheel drive low, and then engine off option. 12-inch screen is here, as I just showed you previously. It does have Sirius XM, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android CarPlay. Um, controls on here, vented seats, heated seats, heated wheel, mirror dimmer, passenger gets heated in vented seats. I can also deploy the backup camera just like such. Shows the trajectory of everything. Get that out of here. Climate control, pretty self-explanatory what that's capabilities are. Now all the apps in this vehicle are here. Navigation option. Thank you TomTom Tom, for popping up there. Backup camera, which I just showed off to you. You do have the trailer tilt steering option on this particular one. Trailer brake controller, tow haul option. Front sensors can be turned off. Rear sensors can be turned off and traction control can be turned off. Plugins, 
A little card holder here. Wireless charging pad for the driver. Another phone holder for the passenger. Another little spot there. This guy slides in and out as well into three separate categories. We do have our console with the cup holders. All of our controls for the rear sliding and dual pane sunroof. But yeah, that kind of does it for this Ram 1500. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye now.